Hi there, this is Dorothy Smith, and I am going to show you the March subscription layout, the cut above um, layouts that are just super easy to do. And just showing you the contents. We've got the page protectors that come with. Um, you've got your pictures and instructions uh, for layout one and layout two. And here are the background pages for layout two. And look at those doilies. They look real, don't they? And this is the background papers for layout one. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of sort the uh, pieces that go with I'll put the photo holders over there. Um, so I'm just sorting which which of the background layouts and journal pieces go with which uh, layout. And I'm also going to do my thing to avoid any confusion. And that is cut out the die cuts and the stickers for layout one and layout two. That way, you know, I don't get confused and I can find what I'm looking for a lot easier. So the uh, thing about these, this paper coordinates with our new um, catalog paper called Yesterday and Today. So obviously it's great for vintage layouts, but you don't have to put vintage on there. One consultant put some pictures of going to the zoo with lions on the background and it looked great. So anyway, I am just going to do it as if it's going to be for vintage. And the first thing you do is put these kind of leather looking pieces down at the bottom. So it's nice that they're stickers. So they go on real easily and it's like no thinking. I'm all for no thinking. So I'm putting the second piece and you kind of flip it over and then you get it stuck to whatever comes in contact with it. And you're going to put the double stitched corner at the bottom of this piece. Look at the detail in that paper. Isn't that pretty? It's really nice. It needs some coffee stains on it, some coffee rings. So, um, you know, we actually had paper that had coffee stain rings on it from a long time ago. Uh, I think that they gave me some of the wrong pictures, uh, picture holders. So they're supposed to be three three by threes on there and I only got one. And the other layout is supposed to have a five by seven and I didn't get any five by sevens. So I'm just gonna put uh, what I've got handy here. There we go, there's layout one. So, you know, I start putting the three by fours thinking, well, I could do that or I could cut those off. But then I had some three by threes over in my little toolbox that's right next to my my working working area here. So that was like I knew what I was doing. Just happened to have two. <laughs> so there we go. There's the picture holders. And uh, I am going to go ahead and use a ruler just to make it easier for myself. And uh, they have kind of, I'm trying to figure out how far in from the scalloped edge to go. And it's about an inch in from the scalloped edge. So I'm just going to go, go with that and come about an inch down from the top. See, I should have checked my Tombow before I started. Yeah, they're, bo they're both out. So I need to uh, change my combo. I mean Tombow. There we go. So, you know, I, I've said, you know, when I first started doing these, don't bother with a ruler. You know, just eyeball it and it'll be fine. Um, yeah, you know, a ruler, you like, you can kind of let the ruler do the thinking for you if you want. So I'm putting like a quarter of an inch, except I didn't do, I put an eighth of an inch. The 
thing is the Tombow sticks really quickly to this paper and it can pull it up uh, very easily. So you have to be careful with it. So there we go. We've got those in place and then this is a cute little journaling. Uh, it kind of looks like a pad, you know, like a ripped off sheet from a pad. You could put lines on there. I didn't think until just now to put some lines on there. Um, the roses and the little daisies, they're all flowers, I mean uh, die cuts, and uh, the pieces over here are all stickers. So they have some little picture corners, photo photo corners. Uh, so I, I'm not going to lay them on top of where the image would be, so I'm just kind of putting them out to the side there. And I'll go ahead and, and pop all my flowers out. So everything is sepia, because that's what we remember for antique photos, right, is sepia tones. And it's nice because it, you know, it looks perfect with any black and white. So if you have any black and whites, or even, you know, even if you have color pictures, you've got the digital file of a color picture, so you could scan it and uh, change it to just black and white if you have some pictures that you kind of want to give a, you know, a antique feel to. So you could totally um, get your, take your pictures to Walgreens or wherever and take the color out and make them black and white. So that is something that you could totally do with, with this layout. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm kind of placing the flowers around where, where I think they should go. And then I'm going to put the photo holder here. I have no idea what what photos I'm going to put here. Um, you know, it would really be nice if I had some of my mother's photo albums from when she was young, because she and her sister took, her sister loved uh, to do photography, and she loved journalism. She actually ended up being a journalist in Midland, Texas, and uh, she liked taking pictures and writing the articles. And so she actually had some really spectacular pictures of she and my mom when they went to college out in Lubbock, Texas. And they're only, they're exactly a year apart, so both share a birthday, much to my mother's dismay. And um, the pictures are like my aunt... She knew how to, uh, even out in West Texas, she could, uh, what is it called, style and profile? Well, she knew exactly how to do that from a young age. And uh, she got some really great shots of, of my mom and herself. So I have to find out, I think my brother's got all of her albums. I think I've... I don't know, I'll have to jog his memory to um, let loose of some of the pictures. He was supposed to scan them, but that would be a huge job. So I'm taking a lot of time here putting these little bitty uh, foam dots on the flowers. And I do that so I can tuck all the leaves underneath the uh, flowers. But goodness gracious, it took... It took a long time. So this whole layout, this is speeded up about 150%, which I always kind of tell you so you have an idea of how long it takes to do this. So it went out to about 40, 45 minutes or so. And, you know, normally uh, normally it's 30 minutes, maybe, to do this. But I just should have used bigger, the bigger dots and, or the tape instead of the, you know, bajillions of little round photo, I mean, uh, foam, foam dots. So what I'm going to do on that leaf that's a sticker is I'm going to pull out my uh, any static pad and just powder it up a little bit so there's no stick -em on it on them and a, fl a, a picture will be able to go right under that sticker. And I've got to get, my upline gave me a really good idea to keep that um, anti-static pouch 
in a little craft jar. So I've got to go through and see if my craft jars have come in yet. Last I heard that they were on back order. But I um, have to go see if I've got any extras in there. So that would be a much better way of storing and easier to get it out of the uh, craft jar instead of getting digging it out of the sandwich bag. So here we go with the bajillions of foam dots. La, 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 la. One more. Good grief. So... There we go. So um, I have a little teeny jar, a little bowl, I think I told you about. There's this, I don't know whether there's any other places, but around Plano, we have several stores called, I think it's Daiso, D-A-I-S-O. Anyway, it's this place that is like, a, I think it's a Japanese uh, import store. And they've got, oh my goodness, so many things um, that, I, you know, they've got toys for kids that are super inexpensive, especially good if you need, um, like, favors for parties so you can spend, you know, hardly any money uh, and get some really cute things. Um, there's a lot of things that can be repurposed for scrapbooking um, and that's what I did with a couple of the uh, cute little bowls that are um, Asian Asian flair on the bowls clearly I should have put the leaves and the uh, wheat down before I put my flowers down I never quite get it right do I what can you say I'd like to say live and learn, but I guess I'm just living. <laughs> Ew, here we go, putting some more on there. And that really, it makes a pretty, I think, a pretty cluster um, up in the corner there. I, you know, these are, I think the paper is beautiful. That is very cool. It, it looks leathery, you know, it looks parchmenty. Um, it's faded. It's so cool. So I'm going to just go ahead and tuck those underneath. And it's almost done. I mean, look at, look at how much of that paper looks like leather. There's a lot of depth to it, even though there isn't a whole lot of depth to it. It looks like it. So now I'm going to do this page. And uh, I have a lot of wheat fronds. What do you call those? Wheat stalks? I have no idea. I should not call them anything, so I don't. Sounds stupid. <laughs> anyway, going to get... It's hard to get under under there. So there goes that, and then I'm going to add a couple here. And then I can um, actually draw lines, journaling lines around. That's what I would do, I would suggest. But, you know, they um, were showing the on the instructions, the lady that did these layouts and put pictures on them that they were able to take pictures of for the layout. Her handwriting, it made me feel good because I've got, I've got pretty bad handwriting, um, but hers was not great. And she, you know, it's kind of important to not look all fine and perfect all the time. You know, if you don't have good handwriting, you know, just make sure it's as le legible as you can make it. And, you know, it will be her handwriting forever. So you can kind of get a you know, a flair for the people. You feel more um, close to them, like you're a part of their life when you're reading their actual handwritten things. It kind of takes you into their world. So don't be afraid of using 
your own handwriting instead of trying to make it perfect with, uh, um, you know, putting it on, typing it on the computer and putting it on paper. I mean, I, there's a nice technique of, of using script text and typing out what you want, and then you print it on vellum, and then you put it on, on your uh, journaling. Now, I, I will say that that looks really lovely, uh, and I do like the way it looks, but it is nice to have some of your own handwriting. So here comes my last batch of flowers my last bouquet and this is going to get three wheat things and then a flower on top of it so I'm just kind of figuring out placement So, and then there's going to be another wheat. Where does that other wheat go? Maybe on the other side. That's where it goes. It'll go on the other side. So there's the three wheats, and then here comes the little daisy-like flower. Aren't they nice? probably didn't need that many dots for that little bitty flower. What do you think? I think I went a little overboard. <laughs> oh, too much is not enough. Okay, there's my wheat, and there's my daisy. There we go. And I'm just going to put some that little metal look clasp and put it there. And then the uh, corners, the four corners are going to go on the other picture, but there's some little um, type here that looks like uh, the old, uh, I forgot what that little machine was called, but you rolled a, a dial and punched out the letters on black tape and the letters came out white. So that's what that looks like to me. So... They're, they're pretty general, so you could, you know, they'll probably go with most, most any picture that you put there, so not to worry. And then one in that corner, and then I'm going to tuck one way under the flower. And you're just going to see the very edge of it. And that's it. So there's that layout. And see, there's stitching on the bottom of this one, but there's also stitching on the bottom of the next layout. So I like they, you know, go well with each other as well as with the uh, yesterday and today. And you could add various elements to these. Um, and not use some of the other elements, like the elements that are really kind of fake elements, like those those handwritten pieces. Um, you wouldn't have to use those. You could actually use some real elements from from the yesterday and today uh, kit. I actually, um, not knowing how busy these were going to be, I actually cut out, I pulled out all three of my lace um die cuts, thin cuts, and um, I cut out a couple of doilies and a um, kind of a round open piece and then also a couple of border, uh, lace borders. And uh, I thought, well, you know, that would be if I cut it out in the vanilla, uh, white, French vanilla, that's what it is, French vanilla, it's off-white, um, that that would look really nice with this layout. But, you know, these are fairly busy layouts with all these things. You know, I didn't even notice whether the handwriting is right side up or not. I guess it probably is because it's all slanted to the right, so it's probably fine. Um, 
Anyway. Um, I'm, uh... Monday. Just kind of... <laughs> it's my husband. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to place, get an idea for where these things go. Um, hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. So the flower goes there, and the phono goes there. And um, so my son is going to be moving into an apartment, another apartment, come, I don't know, in the next, next few months. And uh, so we went over. He wanted to go look at some furniture at Nebraska Furniture Mart. And uh, I was sure, let's, you know, let's go do it. So the three of us went over there Sunday after, uh, I guess, whenever they open, noon or 11 or something. And they have all these, see what I'm saying? That should be a five by seven, not a four by six, which is okay. I'm just going to leave it blank. And uh, they had all these old turntables from my era. <laughs> and uh, it just, the uh, he put the, the uh, arm down on the record and the needle just slid right across the record. And... I immediately went to, oh my God, there's dust on the needle. Let me just blow the dust off and the needle will go on there. And it was like, wow, that came out of nowhere from a long time ago. And it just struck me like I knew exactly how to do that immediately without no thinking involved. I guess that shows you that I played a lot of records uh, on my dad's uh, he made a stereo. He did. He put it together himself and built, built the box, not the box, but the the piece of furniture that held all that stuff. We played a lot of music when my parents weren't around, and it was all at the loudest possible decibel you could get. And we'd open the front door to the house, and the music would just pour down the street. <laughs> we probably blasted his speakers probably just totally ruined him but we liked playing the loud music anyway I digress so I'm putting all this stuff see the those um, pieces they add to the atmosphere of the whole page but they don't really add anything meaningful so you could put pictures there you could put more journaling cards there you could put additional die cuts there, um, you know, whatever you'd like. And it, it just kind of struck me after afterwards that it's like, well, those are kind of pieces that, you know, really are nice in, in terms of color, but, uh, you know, they aren't real. So I'm going to go ahead and just put one strip down one side of this so that way um, you can put a three by four photo in there and all you have to do is lift up the flap and then tuck it tuck it in behind so I'm putting that on top of the flower and see it's going to overlap the picture but um, so you'll be able to lift up on the right-hand side of it and pop the 3 by 4 picture in. How many times do you watch me do and undo? It's a lot, right? And I remember having a stamp collection. I actually had stamps that looked like that, but they didn't say 24 cents. They said something like 3 cents back when you paid 3 cents for a, for a stamp. And I have no idea where that stamp album is. Okay, here we go. Same thing for this little picture frame. You know, it holds the um, three by four. And uh, because the corners on the little frame are rounded, I'm just clipping off the little white that sticks out there. 
You don't need to, that to be distracting. So on this side, I'll get my photo, uh, my photo holder in place. It's kind of amazing how many things I stick to myself while I do this. And this is going three quarters of an inch over from the side and like two and three fourths inches up from the very bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is like a little frame that's going there, just a little added attraction. And that's going to Get tucked over and under. And we have two pieces of the same shape. So the one on the left hand side has no lines in it, and this one has the lines in it. So obviously, this is the journaling um, part. And uh, raising up the flowers just to add a little bit of dimension. You want to have just a little bit of dimension. Just to add some interest. I mean, actually, these pap this paper is dimensional looking. Like that lace, the doily behind uh, the pictures, looks dimensional when you see it in, in real life. Um, but, of course, it's not. So, but boy, it'd fool you. You'd have to go feel it. So the same thing, I'm just putting uh, the foam tape on one side and keeping the other side open so that you can tuck a picture in there. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to the phonograph, too. Just so you know, I'm not from this era of phonograph. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Okay. And there we go. And this pretty light green, so that's going to go, that's kind of a counterpoint to the green stamp, which is pretty, and, you know, we have a bird on one of our M stamps that is like this. It's like a swallowtail, and it's it could be used um, on this layout also. Actually, it'd be very pretty. So I hope you liked these. I think these are real, real pretty layouts. So I'll be making my annual album of all of my subscription layouts. I'm really, you know, I think I've really learned to appreciate. Um, how pretty these are and how useful they are. And so there you go. And please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and all that fun stuff. And, you know, please feel free to leave a comment. Those are the pieces that I die cut. See, they're really beautiful. Um, and they could work on there, but I think I've got enough on there right now. So, see, especially on this one. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye now.